Hello, Libra. Libra. Got chords going everywhere. Uh, Libra, we're going to do a general because I messed your reading up yesterday. So, Libra. Let's do this again. First card falls out, King of Coins. Interesting. So we're going to look at several things, Libra. We're going to look at your current energy, desire, outcome. What's working for you, what you need to be aware of. We'll clarify all the cards, and then we'll pull three more at the end of the read. So let's have a look at what... Hmm. Current energy is one of travel. Well, let's clarify this. Four of Wands. King of Cups. Judgment. Princess of Cups. Now this... Travel. You might be traveling to see somebody. You might be traveling to create a more stable life for yourself with somebody that you love. Because as I'm looking at this, the idea that the King of Cups is here really makes me think that you're involved with somebody in love. With the Princess of Cups here, talks about love. And the Judgment card talks about something from the past. So for some of you, maybe you are going back to somebody from the past. Your desire, though, we have the Devil, Ace of Wands, Temperance, and the Moon. Very similar cards to what I think your read was yesterday. So whatever this is... It's got a hold on you. And this individual, whoever this is, you really, it's like they're magnetic. And they're pulling you back or you're pulling them back. This could have been a toxic relationship, but we see that things are starting to balance with, uh, or this relationship has healed to some degree with temperance here. And this whole new beginning whole new life is something that you are looking at with the moon so this could be that there's a that light and dark pull now the outcome that one fell out weird ah the king of coins shows up again interesting the outcome is the ace of cups yay so ace of wands ace of cups so a new start with this uh, love offer. This could be from this person. This could be from somebody else. King of Coins, Wheel of Fortune, and Two of Swords. This is a really stable offer to kick things off with. And as we see the Two of Swords here, maybe there's a choice between two people. This King of Cups and this King of Coins. One from the past and one coming in. So interesting. Or maybe that this time around for you, this one is more stable. They've gone from just the King of Cups to somebody who is more stable, this King of Coins. What is working for you, though? Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, Two of Wands, the Fool. The Fool, and I think the Ten of Cups showed up for you guys yesterday as well. Now, this connection with this Two of Cups... can be a reconciliation where you see this commitment you're deciding which way to go and really you've got nothing to lose so what do you need to be aware of Ooh, king of swords ten of coins seven of cups ace of coins okay so we have three aces and three kings on the table When I see this King of Swords, this can be planning, this can be really sort of concise in what you're planning or what you're looking at. This Ten of Coins, that luxury, 
creates confusion for you. But it could be worth a start. Like, which it gives you options. Are those options in love? Or are those just options, period? Bit of a different read for you. This just fell out of the deck. And the Empress shows up. Four of Coins and the Four of Cups. Fascinating. There's this energy of... You want it, or do you want it, with the Four of Cups? Do I don't want to lose it? So how do I make this go forward with this Empress here? This Empress can be a gift. It can be somebody that's very nurturing. It also speaks to marriage, possibly even pregnancy. But let's pull an Oracle card. Consult. We look at Spirit Guide, Love, Good Luck, and Beauty. And the way that I see this is... You may need to use your intuition around this. You do want love, but you need to really figure out what part of it you want. The love of money, the love of commitment, the limerence that goes with that. Uh, figuring out and having, with luck and beauty here, it's like you may be looking at one of these as they're so pretty. Or they're so handsome. Don't let that be your deciding factor. Uh, looks conveyed. And the good luck is either way you make a choice, it allows you to at least move forward. But that's what I have for you today, Libra. Thank you for coming back. Um, very interesting read. Uh, not like one I've ever done before. But best of luck this week. Uh, I don't always post at the same time, so you may want to subscribe on your way out. Uh, just to make sure you do not miss when I upload videos, videos next, because sometimes I'm on the road and I don't always get the same days for reposting your videos. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.